he was no particular respecter of persons and the rather po-faced style of interviewing that was there in the old days in the BBC, he was one of the people who led to a breakaway from this. Lord Hailsham, we know the importance that you as a Conservative place on character and integrity. I do think it came to its full flight in, during the Profumo affair when uh, Quentin Hailsham came on as the spokesman for the government. Bob had this supreme virtue, it was a vice sometimes, but it was normally a virtue, that he always seized on one big point, and you couldn't knock him off that point. He would press it and press it and press it. But isn't it also, though, a, a strange comment on the leadership of your party that a man with this background should, for so long, have been able to hold the position he did? Well, how can we tell? Um, it's silly to uh, make a party issue of this. A scandal can arise in one party or it can r arise in another. Let's recognize it what it is, a scandal. A great party is not to be brought down because of a squalid affair between a woman of easy virtue and a proved liar. But wasn't there some gullibility on the part of the ministers who saw him and couldn't get any nearer the truth than they did? Well, that depends on how conceited you are. Though they included the two law officers of the Crown. Uh, they included the chief whip, who's a, a study of men. They included the leader of the House of Commons. They must, of course, be judged by the House of Commons. But if I were you, young Mackenzie, I shouldn't make up your mind before you've heard the facts. But is it really uh, adequate uh, as a leader of the government to say the next may be on the opposition side? I mean, the fact is, this has hit squarely. It I didn't public say confidence. it was adequate. I only said that you were wasting my time and everybody else's by pretending that this was a specifically party issue. And so you are. It, it could easily have been a Labour issue. It, could, it, it, it is, in fact, a Conservative issue. It is our responsibility to clean up the Conservative Party. It's the Labour Party's responsibility to clean up the Labour Party. And it's the business of the House of Commons to judge these issues. But to try and turn it into a party issue is really carrying irresponsibility and flippancy about a serious matter to an extent which I regard as very nearly intolerable. Do you feel that the, those who have spoken out, the bishops, the Times and so on, have tried to turn it into a party? I issue? think you have. Thank you, Lord Hilton.